exclamation everybody and welcome to Cosmo Tier. Starship Architect and Commander. Now this game is uh, pretty much what you would expect it to be for something that would say Starship Architect and Commander. The main part of this game is that you're building starships and flying them around and uh, trying to destroy enemies and whatnot. Uh, it's still in pre-alpha and while it's in pre-alpha it's free to download and let me tell you, it's uh, I downloaded it a couple days ago, and pretty much every day this week there's been an update to it. So it's been it's in it's in uh, quite the uh, uh, development uh, state now, where it's it's being developed uh, quite rapidly. So I am going to on in this video, I'm going to focus mostly on already pre-built uh, starships. The real meat of this game I think is in actually creating your own starship because the idea is that there's a simulation of going on inside the starship where you've got people running around doing stuff and depending on the positions of where you've put your uh, major components like the uh, the the guns versus the where where you load the ammunition from and, and all that stuff you know you, you can have an optimal setup where um, your guns are getting reloaded really quickly because the people running around in the ship can get to the ammo store fast enough and also to the, uh, to the, the engines and whatnot. So there is a, a, a little bit of a simulation going on there as far as the, as far as the crew management goes. So, and I think that's where they really want this game to shine. I'm not really going to get into that though, because building your own ship actually requires some creativity and I am pretty bad at creating things. Um, I'm going to do a bounty hunter here. You can do creative mode. This is where you would actually build your ships and you have unlimited money and go around, do what you want to do. You can save the ships that you've built and then try to pay for them in the, in the main game here. Um, you see, we start out with 25,000 credits. Uh, which isn't much to do much with. Um, but you can jump into build mode right away. And there's all kinds of stuff here. So you got ion beams and small lasers. Uh, you got munition bays here. See, we've got a control center. We've got uh, thrusters. Now, when you put thrusters and stuff on the ship, you can see how it gives you the area where you can't build anything because it would be in the way of the thruster, it would, be, it would be damaged by it. So you can see how that kind of works. And they've got thrusters pointing in all the different directions because that's how your ship moves around. Uh, so there is a simulation going on there as far as physics and whatnot. Defenses, shield generator, point defense is to help with uh, missiles. Try to shoot down missiles that are coming in. Got fire extinguishers, which we already have one on the ship here. So your guys can run over and grab that. This is the bunk room here, the qu crew quarters. Both of these are the bunk and the crew quarters. Um, we just get regular corridors here that lead to the thrusters so that they can be repaired as needed. So everything, everything on the ship should be accessible at some point because you're going to need your people to go in and do stuff. Uh, especially even the reactor core, they'll go in there to put some more energy into the reactor core or to take energy out of it and put it into other other areas of the ship that might need it. Um, we've got all our flight control things, standard thrusters. We don't have an FTL drive yet. We'll have to make room for that eventually because we'll want to get out of this galaxy at some point. But before we do that, there's probably a few enemies here that we or out of the system. Uh, and there's probably a few enemies in the system already. Got moving walkways too, if we want that. And here's a power storage. Stores a limited cache of plasma batteries that may be used by nearby ship systems. And then the sensors and structure stuff. Structure wedges and, and whatnot to build out the ship a little bit bigger. And as you go along, the idea is to start to sort of expand the ship out a little bit. Um, the problem with like this ship here is that there is a little bit of room that you can kind of maneuver with. But eventually it kind of just... You can't really do much without doing massive alterations to the thing. Um, 
But that said, you don't necessarily have to do massive alterations because you can have a fleet in this game uh, where you can just buy another ship once you have the money for it. And then you can control both of those ships and have them go around and, and do some damage. Uh, let's see. We got crew, which you can see we can hire crew. We can fire crew. Uh, we have eight crew for eight beds. Uh, crew just show up you, when you build new beds. They kind of you can just go and hire them. You don't. I don't think you have to be uh, anywhere to hire them. I think you can just hire them straight out, and everything's cool. You see our mass here, which comes into play with how many thrusters you need. Uh, we could change the paint scheme if we really want to. I'm not going to worry about that right now. What I would like to do is get one more, one more gun on our thing here. So we got small lasers. I think these are all small lasers, I believe. So I'm going to put this guy up here, like so. And they will go and man that. And uh, I think we would, I think I would like to, if I go with the, where are we looking here? The fences some armor blocks in here um, and then I think I could put I'll put some armor blocks in there too why not while we're at it um, I think I could put a point defense right there and a point defense right there I don't know if I have enough energy for all those am I what's my energy like uh, I've got I've got enough energy uh, I don't Need a minimum of six crew though, so I don't have enough crew for those. It looks like well, maybe I do. Yeah, no, I have eight crew, so a minimum of six. So I might have enough. Yeah, yeah, I have enough. I have, I have two there. Okay, so we're good with that. Um, what else? I think that'll be good for the moment. Um, large cannon, point defense, small thrusters, power. I think we're good on the reactor power. Yeah, we still got enough power over there. There's our structure. All right. So I think we're good there. So we got three enemies on this, on this little map here. So we're going to zoom on out. And we're going to head on down and click on one of these unknown contacts. Actually, we can click on them over here and my guy will go. We'll go zooming over to see what we can uh, see what kind of damage we could do. Now this should be a relatively easy area, so I, I'm not too worried about damage to the ship. But uh, they will they will damage things. Now when a ship comes into range, this is really the difficult part right now is trying to keep the ships on on view here. I can actually target various parts of the ship, and it will focus. My guys will focus fire there. Um, I think, uh, I think we've taken his, I was trying to get them to target the, the weapons there. There we go. All right. Now we can target their, target their core. And that's, that's that. Now you can see we've taken some damage. One of the nice things that I, that they have in a game is there's a little picture in picture that you can see, which is really nice when you're off the screen. Like if I move off the screen here, you can see what your ship looks like as far as, as far as damage and everything is concerned. So it's really nice to see that. Plus you can also see it down in the wireframe, uh, what kind of damage you've taken. Now we've taken a little bit. We got, uh, we need 1869 credits to repair all. So that's what we're gonna do. Have that immediately repaired. And those guys are gonna go give it some power. You can see you just walked over there with some power to give that. So that is good. So now we will head on over to this guy over in the corner. And there's obviously there's time dilation, all that stuff, so you can kind of see what you're doing as far as as far as time goes, and make the time go faster and slower and and all that. So like if I actually pause right now, then I'll that'll give me an opportunity to actually target what I want to target on this guy. So let's target the small laser blaster. Yeah, one of those. One of those will be good. And then I think it's a space bar to unpause. Yeah, that's that works. All right, that one's destroyed. We'll target this guy now. 
Now I don't have any shields yet, so you know I'm taking taking lots of damage from all this, but you can make shields. Um, the problem is they are like you would see in other games where it's just like you have a shield generator, but it only gives you like a small arc of a shield in one section, and that arc. If I wanted one in front of the ship here, I don't have enough room for it. So it's, uh, you do run out of room pretty quickly as far as this, as far as this, this ship goes. Now, obviously this is just the model one ship. Uh, there's a bunch of ships that you can do from the, uh, both in, in the game already. And, uh, you know, there's a whole library of ships that you can, you can look at and possibly use if you have enough credits to buy them. You can also take screenshots if you want and do blueprints and rename the ship and save the ship design uh, if you're you know have a custom ship that you're that you're going for I am just right now the main part of the game is trying to grab some credits get a bunch of credits so I can now we've got fuel this is our FTL fuel you can buy more uh, immediately and uh, then we got credits for upgrades and, and whatnot, which I might try to get some get a few upgrades if we get enough credits off of this guy. We don't spend too much on repairs anyway. We'll see about that. We'll see how that works. My guy has stopped moving for some reason. There we go. I guess I didn't quite click on the on the enemy here. You can see where your ship is going to try to stay at to get at the guy. All right, so now we can see him. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna target his his lasers. Zoom back out again. There's one thing that I um, would like to see in this game is a little bit more fine grade control. Right now, everything is is run by your your crew. And by fine grade control, I mean maneuvering. Like I'd like to be able to maneuver my ship around. Like, keep this guy targeted, but then maneuver him behind it, or, like, tell my guys to try to maneuver behind him. Because uh, that would make more sense. A lot of times, these, these these end up being just, my guys come here, and they just stand right in front of them and keep getting shot by their blasters instead of trying to actually get around behind them where they don't have any blasters. So it would be nice if you could... Uh, and then autosave happens every 10 minutes, just in case you are wondering. But it would be nice if you could, you know... Give your guys some some instructions on maneuvers you want them to do. Um, even if you can't do the maneuvers yourself, it would be nice if I could just give them orders and say like, "Hey, you know, try to get behind the other ship, or try to go for some other maneuver. You know, try do some evasive maneuvers and and you know try to buy some time so that I can uh, get some get the right facing weapons, uh, you know, facing the right way and all that stuff." But again, it's so. This is very early right now, so I, I can't, I can't really fault it too much. It's actually really fun for what's already here, um, and obviously this is still got a ways to go. Um, but let's see what else we can do here. So can I? These are small laser blasters, right? Do we have anything a little bit bigger than that? We've got electro bolts, which are. They can short circuit enemy systems, cause them to lose power, especially effective against shields. But I'm not going to encounter anybody with shields just yet. Now, ion beams, which are pretty fantastic. And then we got some cannons. Uh, but these, the cannons require, I believe, a um, munition or an ammo factory or something, ammo storage. So I might not be able to do those right now, but I could probably change some of these over to ion beams, although they take two crew. And how big are they? They are freaking huge. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say get rid of this and get rid of that. I'm going to say ion beam, and I'm going to say rotate you this way. Put you on the front of the ship. Go and we still got enough. Still got enough energy and everything, so we're still good. So that's nice. Um, 
We got a little bit bigger, <laughs> a little bit bigger gun as we need it. Now, defenses. I got some point defense stuff. Uh, I could put... Now, there, there is a symmetry mode, too. So you can put that on, I can say, armor wedge. And it will... So let's do the, the right one. Do armor wedge, and it will give me the opposite side on the... The opposite wedge on the opposite side there. So I can do that. So that'll give me a little bit of a... Make the ship look a little bit more interesting, maybe. A little bit more streamlined, as it were. So then... It would be nice, again, the problem with this ship is that it's very hard to expand from where you were unless you start moving things out. Like I, like I could put big armor chunks over here and then move these thrusters out a little bit further, which I might want to do, honestly, because I would like to, I'd like to try and get a shield generator in here, but I don't know if I have enough cash for that. Let's. Let's see something here. Let's get rid of these. Right. And let's do two by one armor. Here. Here. Like that. Um, the shield generator is how big? The shield generator is two by two. So if I go by one here. Let's say bango 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 bango. Alright, and then I want to so what what is this? Is this a what thruster is this? So I make sure I put another one on there. Is this a th small thruster? That's a standard thruster. Okay. So we're gonna move this now unfortunately I don't think there's a way to move things, is there? Grab tool. Ew, maybe I can just move it. Ah, that's fantastic. Okay. All right, that's good. I like that I can just move it. Although, as you can see, you need to have a you you need to have a corridor there. But the act of moving it actually made a corridor. <laughs> so I just had to kind of drag and drop it a couple times. This is cool. There's not too many games like this that have a building mechanic where it actually will be smart about it and move things instead of having to delete them and then put re-add them and all that stuff. So this is, I like that. I like that this has that. Um, my point of fence is probably not going to do so hot right there. So I probably should move. Ooh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. It's, it's, I, I moved the, moved the door, which is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to, let's get that here. I want to move this. Over there, this over there, so that it actually doesn't hit my hull. Um, speaking of, let's give it a little bit of a flare, shall we? Let's get our symmetry mode on, and let's get this point in the right way. Excellent. There and there. Cool. Very cool. I can turn that back off. Okay. Now we're cooking. Now, the thing is, I want to get shield generators in here, but these thrusters are going to be in the way. I wonder, mm, I think I can do it. I think it'll put a, yeah, it'll put a door there. So the crew can get at it. It's just they have to go through that door there. So it's not the most efficient way of doing it, but... At least it's it's what I can afford with what we've got right now. Alright, and I've got enough crew to handle it, it looks like. Yeah, I still got enough crew and enough power. I can actually make some uh make some crew quarters. Here, yeah, right, let's get another Let's get another bunk and put it over here. There we go. So now we have ten crew. So like I said, it can just it'll automatically give you crew as you put bunks in there and stuff, so you don't have to hire them. Um, 
I imagine that's just for now. I imagine at some point in the future you'll have to actually go and hire them. But that's looking a little bit more interesting. <laughs> it's it's a little bit oblong, but it's it's like I said, my my building skills are not are not very good. So uh, that's why I'm not doing the creative mode because yeah, my building skills aren't that great. But I would. I, I do want to at some point do a follow up to this where I just do the creative mode so you can see the building and the simulation about having your crew and having, you know, very efficient uh, layout and stuff. The only problem I've had thus far, and I tried playing the creative mode for a little bit, the only problem I've had thus far is even though you've got this grid here, it's very hard for me to, when you're looking at an empty grid, it's very hard for me to determine if I'm going how big or how small the ship is right it's like this to me looks like a very big ship but then when I was building a ship I couldn't fit half the stuff in and I kept expanding it out and expanding it out so it's it's kind of a there's a little bit of I'm, I'm having a little bit of difficulty as far as scale and stuff goes but beyond that uh, everything else has been working really well as far as this goes. In fact, let's give it a let's give it a pink job, shall we? Let's do that. Let's get a little bit a little bit bluer. It's a little bit like this way, maybe. A little bit more like that, like a teal color. Um, you can see where you can put all the all the uh, decals and stuff. I can put, uh, put smiley face here and smiley face there, <laughs> just for the sake of argument. And there's also symmetry mode on this too, so that's good. So that's you can give your ship a name on the actual hull, like this one says Model One with a star and all that stuff. So all cool things. Uh, is there? I haven't tried to actually save manually. Can I? Oh yeah, I can save manually. How about that? How about them apples? I guess I did try to save manually before. All right. Um, let's do that. Just so I don't... I have something to jump back to. Because one of the things that you'll notice when I jump to another system... Oh, actually, that's the other thing I forgot to do. I need a jump drive if I want to jump here. So we're going to need to... Or an FTL drive, I mean. Let's get our FTL drive. I'll just put it over... In this corner here that seems like good enough to me uh, 74% FTL drive efficiency is 74% okay all right that's good enough I think for now so we need an FTL drive because nothing else is going to happen in this system so now we can go to the map and uh, all these systems are color-coded I think the ones with the stripes the three stripes are very difficult. The ones with the two stripes that are a little bit yellower are not too bad or maybe medium difficulty. And this one with the one stripe is probably easy. So we're going to kind of come over here just because I need to, uh, I need to, yeah, amateur. That's what it is. What, what does this one say? Professional and then veteran. Yeah. Okay. So that is, so it even tells you on here, which is nice. Uh, it tells you the distance and how much FTL fuel it's going to use. So 15 FTL fuel is what it's going to use. And now my FTL drives are going to spin up. It takes a little while for them to spin up depending on how uh, close your FTL drive is to the fuel source and whatnot. Because your, your um, crew has to go over and power it up. So, you know, that's why it's, it behooves you to be efficient with things. And you see, this is our FTL fuel up here. We've used 15, so now, or we're going to use 15, so engage. It does auto save whenever you FTL, which is nice. And uh, now we are in a new system, and hopefully, this system won't be too bad. Now, you can see I need crew down here because a lot of crew went to the FTL drive to keep that running. And now they're all, they've now moved up to where they need to be. So the crew is smart enough to go where where they're needed. Uh, but you have to know that whenever you do an FTL jump and you have you don't have enough crew, that th you're not going to have your, sh your uh, shields and or your weapons right away. You have to, you know, factor that into everything else. 
So I think we're going to go down to this guy. I believe. I believe we are. Let me get my view down here. And hopefully these guys will be easy like the other ones. They gave me four of them this time. So we'll be able to we'll be able to test out our shields and, and whatnot and our new guns. Let me see how close we are to this guy. The kilometers on there. Alright, where's my I have I have lost them. They've gone off the they've gone off the viewport port here. Okay. Well this guy's got a kind is that oh is that my gun firing or is that his gun firing? Oh, he's only got a small laser blaster, so that's my gun firing. <laughs> my my big ass uh, cannon firing here, and doing some wrecking some faces. Damn straight, damn straight. All right, target the reactor core, and let's let's blow this popsicle joint. And my shields are still holding. It doesn't look like I have any damage whatsoever. That's fantastic. That is awesome. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have any damage at all. There's no repair symbol or anything. Fan freaking fantastic. All right, we are badasses, my friends. This is good. You need the you need to do this just for the money, um, because what I'd like to do is you can see over here. There's a purchase another ship. So. I could purchase another ship and that would then become part of my fleet and then we can take on some of the bigger areas uh, where you'll encounter ships that have really badass guns and you'll want to be, uh, wow, what this guy's got weird, weird gun placement. He's, he's got broadside cannons. That's interesting. <laughs> That's real interesting. Control room, small thruster. Um... Yeah, he's only got broadside cannons? Wow. All right, well, let's take out one of them anyway. I'm really impressed that that's all they put on there. With some broadsides. Oh, I guess they're turrets, so they are... Oh, well, the one is a turret. The other one is not. The other one is just a literal broadside cannon. Wow. Oh, no, it's, it's turned. Okay, it has turned to... Face me. Ooh, they took out... Oh, I'm low on power. I'm low on power. One of my shields went down. So I am going to need to upgrade my shield generator at some point here. Let's target their... Let's target their engines. Actually, let's target their cannon again. So they stop firing on me. My shields are still doing good things, although still having power problems. Well, took out their thrusters. Let's target their core. You can see their their crew running around trying to repair things. And eventually getting spaced <laughs> as they go flying out into space. That's the end of that cannon. And now it's just a matter of taking them out. Damn, my cannon is fantastic. <laughs> my cannon is fantastic. That big ass cannon I put on there, especially against these guys. There we go. Where's the wing bat? Oh, that was just extra, extra stuff. Okay. You see my shields are recharging a bit. I did take a little bit of damage. Just a little bit. Where was the damage at? Like one part was damaged for 750 credits. Alright, so that's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yes, yeah, so we're at 34,000. So obviously we're not getting that much for these guys because they're like level one, level one folks, but... I do want to show you what it looks like to have another another ship because they they have a lot of different ships already in the game that you can just purchase, including a ship that is the, the in the shape of the title of the game, which is actually pretty hilarious to see. All right, so all right, this guy 
He has got a standard cannon. These cannons actually hurt a lot. He's also got some point defense systems. I'm not worried about those too much because I don't have any. They're not going to fire at me because they're look they're for missiles. I think it's a standard cannon. I got to be careful of. Let's see if we get some good shots off on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was fantastic. Bam! <laughs> Cut it in half. Ah. Oh. Oh, that was that was beautiful. That was a thing of beauty right there. I love it. I love it. Hey, where's this guy at? It's cool when you're when you're <laughs> when you're you're wrecking faces. Let me tell you. Um, my first time through this though, I did go into a sector that was a little bit above my pay grade and. I paid for it dearly, repeatedly. Um, what is this guy? He's got a weird cannon there and point defense system, some thrusters. This guy's barely being held together by anything. Holy crap. His his crew is he's literally like separated. <laughs> he's got crew in areas that can't actually interact with other crew. That's that is pretty funny. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's just target their reactor core because it looks like he's trying to run away. Bam! All right, easy peasy. Cool. So, do we have enough to buy another ship? That is the question. So, you see the Model One Six Crew. That's what we start out in. There's a Model R with uh, Six Crew. That's fifty grand, and a Model Z. Uh, then there's the built-in ships. And there's a lot of them, and they're expensive. So you got Arachnid with 110 crew, Archangel with 334 crew, Argonauts, 8 crew, Avalanche with 42 crew, Carbine, the Cosmodeer, Cosmoteer, uh, Title Screen, which is 132 uh, crew in that guy. We got a Constellation class starship, which looks a lot like the uh, something from Star Trek, which is pretty funny. It's 150 crew on that one. It's 752,000 credits, though. Um, but you can see how there, how much flexibility there is. De death box, okay. Uh, and uh, the various layouts as to how you would get crew out to the different areas of, system, uh, of the ship and, and all that stuff. When you're building stuff for the first time, like it'll let you put armor pieces anywhere. But then as you put components on the ship... You kind of have to lay the components out the way you want them. Like they all have to be adjacent to corridors. So, you know, as soon as you put the first component down, which is usually like your reactor or something, then you just have to start building corridors out from there so that you can build the other components where you want them. Um, so it, everything has to be accessible to the crew. Um, my scouts, a yacht, yellow jackets. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. I guess we could buy a, uh, let's bring a model, model Z in maybe. There we go. Interesting. All right. So if I look at crew here, they don't have an FTL. So I'm going to have to, I have to build an FTL on this guy or else he can't follow me. Right. Um, yeah, I would imagine that's the case. I imagine he has to have a, an FTL drive in order to follow me. Uh, but he's got almost no space for anything. Wow. Wow, I say. Uh, do, 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 do. I have to build something here for this. Let's go. Let's go and see if I can get enough room to put an FTL drive here. I'll put it on. I'll put it on this side. Uh. I guess I'll put another wing over here too, just to balance it out. But we'll get a, what am I looking for? Flight and, ooh, that is 15,000. We only have 11,000. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna make things a little bit interesting, isn't it? So I'm guessing I'm not gonna be able to do much. There's no, there's no fire extinguisher on this place. 
That's probably an oversight. Let's give this guy a fire extinguisher here. Um, yeah, I guess I'll put it there. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Huh. Huh, I say. Alright, uh, I guess we'll just give him another gun. Then. Yeah, or can I give him a cannon? Oh, but I need to I need to make a, a munitions thing if I put a cannon on there. Let's put the um, ion beam. I mean, could technically go there, but that gun's in the way. Maybe I will. Let's try this. Let's move this gun. Uh, over here. Well, we can't do that because there's no crew access. Uh, put that there for a minute. Let's get the... Let's put a corridor here. Right. And then put a corridor here. And then we'll get this guy, move him down here. This guy, move him down there. I uh, hope, hopefully these thrusters don't interfere with the ion cannons. I mean, it let me put it there, but a part of it is in front of that, so I don't know if that's, I don't know if that will cause damage to it or not. I guess we'll find out, I guess we'll find out the hard way, won't we? And I'll get this guy. Of course it's off center, but, um... That's going to drive you. That's going to drive me nuts a little bit how off center it is, but it's a three by three. So I'm just going to put that there. And we have the crew for it. We have just enough crew for the ship, though, so we can't lose anybody or else we'll be screwed. I guess I could put uh, a crew quarters here if I have any. Yeah, let's get a. Let's get a bunk and put that here. So we have, hmm, that bunk didn't give me any crew though. So the last time I put a bunk down, it gave me crew. This time it didn't give me any. That's interesting. I wonder if that was just a bug that I saw or if that was, or if that only works for your main ship. Hmm. Hmm, I say. All right. It's the, can I, Junker, does that. Can you get any more junk out of this, or? Nah, I guess not. It's just a waste. That's just a waste at that point. All right. Micromanaging your ship. Hold the control key and left click on an individual part to select it. Drag a box around multiple parts. You can power things on or off if you want to. Uh, you can press the fire mode button to tell a weapon to hold fire until you give it a specific target. And uh, with a weapon selected, you can right click on an enemy part to target the weapon on it. So you can target, you can have your weapons target individual, uh, you know, different parts of a ship. It's just you have to, uh, you have to, I wonder if this is six crew, eight beds. Oh, oh, I get it. Okay, I didn't have enough. I don't have enough money to hire crew. So when I put the bunks down, it would it was automatically hiring crew for me. Since I don't have any money to hire crew, it didn't put any crew. Ah, I got it. Okay, I get it now. All right. Fine, fine. Um, the question is, I can't do an FTL drive, so I don't know how this is going to work if I say go somewhere. Uh, is there an easy area? There's one down here. It's 38. Yeah, this guy has no FTL. So he's going to end up staying here, which I guess is fine. I'll just come back to him once I've got the money. So let's just engage. Jump anyway and leave those ships behind. Okay. Now I don't know if that means I can't access them again or... Or what? I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out the hard way. Not that we need his help anyway going here. 
I should wait for my guys to get back into their positions. Oh, well, I guess they're I guess they're getting back into their stations. So maybe I can just take out a few of these guys and then once I have the credits, I can jump back to the other one, maybe? Possibly? I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't know how it works yet. Uh, this guy's got an electro bolt, huh? So we're going to target that with all our cannons. Uh, and take that one out first, I believe. So this is going to be an interesting battle. If I can keep it on the screen for you guys, so you can see it. Okay, my shields are down, and things are not being crewed. Oh, because the crew went to get more power energy cells or something. All right, let's focus on that, if you could, please. Focus on the thing that's firing at you. There we go, now focus on that one. Yeah, we have a little bit of damage. Now, I can't repair the damage until... I'm not in battle, so I'm not being fired on. It's just a matter of uh, breaking our way through to this area. Thank you, we're almost to their core. Excellent. All right, so we did take a little bit of damage on our on our right side there. Wow, we took actually a lot of damage on our right side there. But the nice thing about this is, even though it took that out, I just have to hit repair all, and it will put everything back the way it was, which I really like. There's a lot of games in this genre, this building genre, where when something gets destroyed, you then have to go back into build mode, and you have to say, all right, go rebuild this thing and rebuild that. What I like about this is it still remembers what was there. You can just hit repair all and you're right back to where you were. Oh, we got a guy. We got a guy coming in on us here while I sit here and talk. And also, the other thing I want to note about this game, this is a pre-alpha game and it's already got like context sensitive tutorials in it with nice little pictures like you can say, you know, flying your ship and all that stuff. And it gives you nice little combat maneuvers. You can add waypoints, which I didn't even know. Adjust the orientation, add waypoints, move or rotate, delete a waypoint. That's fantastic. Uh, combat tactics. Uh, cue additional targets to adjust distance, direction, or rotation after attacking. Hold shift and then drag one of the handles that appear. Oh, okay. So you can adjust it. It's just you have to hold shift. See, I would still kind of like, th I, I like that, but I would kind of still like it to be more like I'm giving them orders, like, you know, evasive maneuver here or something like that. But I, I okay, I can still get behind that. Um, and distance and direction to attack from, right click on the enemy ship and drag away from it. Okay, so that's, that's dragging the, the ghost of where your ship is. So you see how close or how far away you want your ship to be. And to queue additional targets, hold shift while right clicking on the part. So, all right, so shift is a big deal. So when I right click, so I could say target all these things in this order. Okay, that's, that is pretty darn good. So this guy's coming in on us. So I'm going to try some of this. Let's hold down shift and right click this, right click that, and then do the control room since it's right on front there. Now, did that actually work? Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, now it's working. All right, actually, I want this to go the other way though. Go like that, and then that guy. There we go. I think that's, yeah, because the line goes from here to here and then there. That's what I want. All right. All right, I'm, this is this is cool. I like, I like that they, they, they've put a lot of thought into this. Now, what I'd like to do is if I can do, yeah, here we go. Shift and rotate. Okay, so that's rotating that way. That's rotating that way. Okay, so I can't, I can adjust it, but not the way that I kind of want to. Like, I want him to swing around this side, but 
Can't quite do that yet, it looks like. Alright, what are we doing here as far as that? Wow. <laughs> We're doing lots of damage. This guy doesn't even stand a chance. There we go. Yeah, my shields barely took anything here. Um, okay, advanced ship design. Enable mirror mode, selection tool, copy paste. Uh, blueprints make temporary changes to your design that would otherwise be illegal and to experiment before spending any credits. This is the other part of the game that I really like. Like they give you a blueprint mode where you can just go and say, hey, I kind of want something here and I want this there and I want this there. And then, um, you know, kind of line everything up the way you want it first. And then you can say, make it and it'll make all the, all the stuff that it can make, which is, is fantastic. That's like, these are the kinds of options that I would expect to see in a game that is focused so much on building. I see so many of these starship games like this that are focused on building that don't give you these basic, like th they don't feel like they put this kind of thought into this. This, this has had a lot of thought put into it. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, you know, quality of life things in this game that I wish more games in this genre would have. There's so many in this genre that don't do this very basic quality of life stuff. And this has got it already, and it's still super early in the development of the game. So that is pretty fantastic. Um, I think... So let me see if I can jump back to my other ship, if that's even possible. Is my other ship up here still, or have I abandoned it? I appear to have abandoned it. Okay, so you can yeah. All right, so that that explains that then. I have to Your ships have to jump with you or else you end up abandoning them. Okay. So I wonder though. Let me see something. We got 22,000. Let me see something real fast. So if I jump back here, I'm wondering if my ship is still there. And that I can re-hook up with it again. Let's, let's see what happens. Right, engage. I'm very curious. It might be gone. No, it's still here. It is literally still here. Okay. So I can just hook up with this guy again. Now that he's here. Can I... Can I hire crew? Yes, I can. Now I have eight crew on there. Where's my guy at? Over here. There is a there is a command to focus on stuff. I, I don't remember what it is. Um, all right. So then that said, I should be able to go into build mode here and give this guy an FTL drive if I had the space for it. Which I don't at the moment. But I could go into so here's the blueprint mode which is really nice uh, let's go into mirror mode and we'll say do, 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 do. where's my so armor we'll go bango bango All right and then I'll go to here and I'll say FTL drive Right. Well, I guess I'll put it over here because that's closer to the where you would get the power for it. So it'll be a little bit faster to spin it up. Okay. Okay. 70% efficiency on that. So now that I've done that, now here comes the ultimate test, right? So I've done that. So let's have him come over here. Very, very slowly. <laughs> is, is he struggling because of uh, I need more thrusters or whatever? I might, I might need more thrusters. I guess that's the only other thing I, I don't quite know yet is like there's obviously physics in the game. Um, you obviously need thrusters pointing in all the directions, but I don't know. I, I don't see anything in here that tells you like that gives you an idea of how many thrusters you might need to not be a slow poke and, and all that stuff. But anyway, we got both of these guys now. 
So I should be able to, we're going to need to buy some FTL fuel. So let's do that. Let's buy as much. Oh, we don't have that much. Uh, you would think they would constrain it. Okay, we got 22 FTL fuel. So I'm probably not going to have enough FTL fuel for this. But let me just make sure. Let's just jump the, uh, do a small jump. Or let's go here. That's 37. 27. Ah, oh, we don't have enough even for those, huh? Well, that sucks. I can't buy any more, can I? Oh, that's right. You can go into debt. I forgot about that. Let's buy enough to go into debt. I forgot you can go into debt for a little bit. Um, so now we can go here to professional areas. Since there's two ships that can fire, this will help me out a little bit, I think. Let's plot our FTL jump. And yep, they're both they're both spinning up. Very cool, very cool. Let's see how, how well we do here. And ready? I love the that they do an auto save because it's very necessary. Okay. Now I'll wait for my guys to get into their back to their stations and everything to have power. There we go. Alright, now let's go up and see if we can do some damage to this guy. Like I said, these guys are gonna be heavily armed. So having two ships doing damage should help a bit. As soon as that guy comes into range though, I'm going to pause and get my commands together here. Alright, so let's see what this guy's guns are like. Uh yeah, see he's got cannons. So it's definitely one of those things where you want to make sure that you're not alone or that you have some really good <laughs> shields and other things here. So let's see if I can... Now I could also target his... Uh, well, that's his crew quarters, but there he should have an armor cannon... F yeah, cannon ammo storage here. And he's got a factory. So I guess I could target these as well. Try to help out a bit. My other ship is taking lots of damage. Bam! There we go. Yeah, my Model Z is very, very damaged right now. So I should probably target him and let's un let's uncommit him from the battle. So we can we can uh Get him repaired. So repair all. Excellent. And target defeated. Sweet. Very sweet. I wish there was an easier way to sort of go between the different ships in my fleet. But I guess that's, again, beggars can't be choosers at this point. There's still a lot in the game and I'm sure there's a lot more to go. But it would be nice that, like, if there was a fleet view where I could just kind of go hop between the two, the ships in the fleet very easily like with a button or whatever there's probably like a, a key keystroke or something that does it but that's fantastic so unfortunately we didn't get a lot of credits from him <laughs> but the one thing i'm noticing though is that the model z is faster i guess because he's not as heavy as my other guy so i don't really want him leading the charge but i don't know if there's much i can do about that except to have him because yeah, he kind of flies off ahead so I don't know that I can do much there other than maybe adjust his course a bit because my other ship is how far behind is my other ship it's pretty far behind let's see if I can adjust this guy's Heading, maybe? You think? No? I'm holding down shift, but it's not giving me uh, the ability to do that yet. So that might not work until he's actually engaged in battle. Alright, 
so stop here for a second. Oh, okay, it's it's with this it's with this one. Let's have him. So he is. It's not telling me which one this guy is. Is this the model one or the? That might be something that is necessary. Tell me whether or not this is the model one guy or the other guy. Because when they're both together like this, I think this is the other guy. So I'm going to have him hang back a little bit. All right, what has this guy got as far as... Oh, he's got some shields and some other things here. So let's do a... We need to take out his shield generator. Which is probably easier said than done. He's got a control room that is exposed. I wonder, so a ship without a control room cannot fly or coordinate its weapons. I'm wondering if it would behoove me to take that control room out and then take out these. Let's see how that works. Let us see how that works. I'm not quite sure if it's going to work out or not. So my guy is there, I kind of want him to wait a little bit for this other guy. Which he might do. He might still be out of range when he comes up to that thing there. Yeah, that was definitely the right one. Ah, oh, he, he, he flew right by it. Which is not good. Alright, so you're... You need to... You need to stop doing what you're doing there and just attack this guy because he's, he's hitting you from the back. He's hitting you from the back. That's not really what I wanted you to do. Surprised that that worked that way. That should have been really... Why don't you turn around and, and fire, dude? This is what I want you to do. Oh, my guy just rammed him. There we go. All right. <laughs> Model Z is, is getting hurt badly. But we took out their... We took out their uh, control room. So... This guy needs to... Retreat for right now. So I can heal him up. Okay, you... Please retreat for a little bit. Please and thank you. All right, you're still not far enough away yet, huh? Come on. Come on. Did you get far enough away that I can repair you? Or maybe he's beyond repair at this point. Okay, where's my other guy at? He's down here and he's... Doing all kinds of damage. All right, you uh, can just target the reactor core now, I believe. Or target this small laser blaster or something. Thank you. Energizing the lasers a little bit. Uh, for some reason he's targeting that. Oh, looks like we knocked out their thing there. Okay, that's good. So just target these, please. And... Actually, I can repair the Model 1 because he's not under fire right now, so let's repair him. Alright, these guys... See, the problem is, he, as you hit them, they start to spin, and then that brings the other blasters and stuff into range. And in this case, the shield generator. See if I can hit that shield generator from here. And 
Yeah, I'm just sending it spinning at this point. Let's just see if I can get their reactor core and just get rid of these guys. Let's see, they're just spinning constantly now. They're hurting me plenty, though. That's the real problem right now, is they're, they're getting some good shots in on me when my shields are down. Come on, there's got to be a way to get rid of some of these. Okay, there's one less. Let's get rid of that shield generator, please. Please? Someday here? Some of these laser blasters, I'm surprised that they're still able to fire. Like, I thought taking out the control room was enough to make it so they can't fire things. But apparently I'm wrong. Okay, that's shield generators down. Target their reactor core, please. Please? Oof! Finally! Damn! <laughs> That's not going to be enough to get me out of debt though, because I'm going back into debt again. Where's my other guy at? Okay, yeah, double clicking does get you back to your other guy. Yeah, we're still back into debt, so... We're going to be probably stuck in debt for quite a while here, but at least you guys can see... Um, what this game has in store for you. And the nice thing about this is while it's in the pre-alpha state, it is completely free. So you can just go off to their website and you can download it. I'll leave links to the website down in the description so you can go uh, take a look at this, play it uh, for free, see if you like what you see. Um, as always, I'll leave links to all the information I can find on the game so you can do your own due diligence as well and look into it. This has been Cosmo Tier. It is by Walt uh, Dessler and it is free while it's during the pre-alpha stage here. It's not on Steam as far as I can tell. It's just on this on the developer's website right now. But it's uh, quite, quite a bit of fun. I'm, I'm enjoying myself with it and it's it's got a lot of nice... Uh, quality of life stuff in it. Uh, there's no music to speak of right now, but there are, you know, the sound effects are pretty good. Nothing's too annoying about it that I can really point at. And, um, yeah, I, it's for, for something that's in pre alpha, it's doing pretty well. I'd say it's a really nice looking game, a nice playing game. And, uh, hopefully they'll, flesh out their simulation even more when it comes to the crew and stuff and maybe giving the crew orders and, and whatnot and managing and stuff. I think that would, I think that would put this like over the top as if I could just say, you know, go do this, go do that. Like give them actual, like if I could, uh, if I could click on this model Z guy now and say, okay, go off and get some credits for me or something like that. Go off on a quest or something and, and come back to me once you're, once you're done or something like that and have them go off and, and, and do that and then come back and reap the benefits of all that. That would be, that would be fantastic. I suspect that's way down the line if at all, but it would, it would be something like that. I could, I could see all that really putting some depth into the game right now. It's, it's pretty straightforward. It, there's not a, there's a little bit of depth, but not a whole lot. It's mostly the depth around um, the simulation of the crew and stuff. But if they add more as far as the universe is, con is concerned, I can see this being a really, really uh, over-the-top fun game as far as that's concerned. But uh, not that it isn't already, but it's still, you know, uh, I, there's lots of room for growth here, I would say, my friends. So that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you next time.